So flooring is, and, and again, I, I've been so vocal about this. We've had so many conversations about this. And let's close our lighting here. And let's talk about, you know, our Swiss tracks option. Obviously, you'll notice, you know, lighting in my facility is, you know, the, I, I would guess that these are 4,000K bulbs. Uh, the white balance is probably a little bit off in the, in the building. Uh, but your, your natural options are uh, leave the concrete alone, do some sort of epoxy, polyaspartic, uh, urethane, some other painted on or rolled on or poured on solution. Uh, you would also have the option to do some sort of tile uh, or plastic tile. You know, so we have all these different options. This is a, a higher end place, and I've been I've been torn on this. So so I'm I'm doing some digging on porcelain tile. The problem with this is, I mean, this is an older older building, and so to do tile is going to require lots and lots of work. Uh, I'm inclined to recommend that we just simply do uh, we do some some of my you know my beloved Swiss tracks. And I know some of you guys are going to get all bent out of shape about dirt and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, you just look at this. I mean, it just looks great. Uh, and so I'm going to talk to Bob about this. He says, do whatever you want. I just want to be sure. Uh, the other nice thing about this is that, you know, if we did, if we did a tile floor, my guess is, you know, the cost is going to be significant. And, and the payoff, I'm not sure, is going to be there. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of research. I, I talked with uh, Mark Green, who used to work and run, actually ran Griot's Garage for a number of decades. And you know, we just had a conversation about garages and designing. He's helping his buddy build a, a pretty high-end garage. And, you know, this stuff, and, you know, this is a, an 8 to $10 million house. That, that, that it, I don't know that this fits for that. I mean, I guess it could because our solutions are so limited. I, I just know if I have a $10 million house, I'm not putting fricking epoxy on the floor. I would probably still do this. Um, but, but I would highly consider do, doing some sort of highly, uh, engineered, really high quality, uh, dealership type grade, if not better, uh, porcelain tile. So, so I'm considering that. So this, you know, if we do Swiss tracks here, which I'm leaning toward, so what we would most likely do and what, I, what I'm considering is we do Swiss tracks here in the working area, and then on this side we do, we do a transition uh, from, from, from Swiss tracks to a, you know, a high-end uh, porcelain tile solution over here. Actually, I don't even know that it needs to be all that high-end if it's just, you know, there's no sledgehammers or stuff getting dropped in here. We just need, a, you know, a tile, a high-quality tile floor. So having some contrast there. Uh, and then I would most likely recommend my, you know, the normal slate gray. Oops, I didn't need to open that. Uh, slate gray and black border. So we would do, so let's see, we're 34 feet wide and 65 feet deep. Swiss Tracks is in, in development on a new um, a new tool for their floor designer. Anyone you anyone can access this. So you can go in here and play around if you want to. So we're going to do rib tracks. Our base color would be slate gray. And then our accents would also be would be Swiss Tracks rubber or rib tracks. And we would do something simple like this, where we would have a border all the way down, just to break it up a little bit. I know some of you are going to lose your minds about boring. I mean, why why would we do some other color if this is the best color? You know, I, I'll do this a thousand times over and over again. So we would bring a border down. I, this is my preference. I don't really care about outlining cars, parking spaces, and all that. There's going to be cars all over the place in this facility. So I don't think it really matters all that much. But that's what our border will look like. And then just to denote, you know, I'm not suggesting we do yellow. Uh, but what we would probably do is do a row of rubber tracks. And then the list of cabinets that we're going to do in here, which we'll talk about in a minute, Lista will not, doesn't mount to the wall, weighs too much. You know, a cabinet, a 30 foot cabinet array that we're going to do will weigh, you know, somewhere in the order of probably, I don't know, 15,000 pounds, something, something pretty significant. 
So we're not going to put that on rubber. We're going to put that on, on the normal uh, rib tracks, the plastic tracks. So we'll probably do, we'll cut two rows of tile or, or, or carry the two rows of tile right underneath the cabinets. Uh, and so just, just to denote that there is some rubber tracks we'll do we'll do some uh some yellow there just to show you what what because rubber tracks is black only so that's you know what this side would look like uh, we would also need some edge pieces so the edges would go so let's get our slate gray so the edges would have to go here on the garage door something like this would also have to go on the on the other door and then the edges would go in between the two buildings so it would look something like this we'd have 20 feet or so of opening maybe 25 feet of opening something like that so the nice thing about the floor designer is then you can go in here and you can figure out how many tiles you need so we need 1104 uh, of the of the slate gray we need 152 of the black so these are the ri the 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 rib tracks and then uh, uh 44 of the rubber tracks uh and so you know if you're watching this stuff for the first time and you haven't been a part of this I mean, I'm, I'm now a, a swiss tracks dealer uh and you know i'm not choosing swiss tracks because i'm a dealer i chose to be a dealer because i choose swiss tracks and i know that you know, some are going to accuse me of just making this choice because it's my you know because i sell it I you know I've been I've been talking about Swiss tracks flooring a long time and have it had it in three garages before I ever started selling the stuff, so it's just a natural. Why not get paid for all this? You know all the all the recommendations that I'm making to people is my thought and you know whatever you if you think less of that I don't know what to say but that's just it's just my <clears throat> my choice. So the, you know if you're wondering how this works so just to, to figure out what this costs because they obviously they don't they don't give you a cost here and so you go to obsessgaragestore.com uh, i'm probably the only one online that actually has the pricing of this stuff and i get they give me permission to do that and then because of all the support that you know the obsessed garage community has given swiss tracks they've given me pricing that really nobody else has i mean i'm, I'm sure that some local guys could try to try to you know discount the crap out of it but the way that i set it up here is you know it is rib tracks is is three dollars and 95 cents a square foot you know so it's it's 4.95 is list and then i have 20 percent off of that which is 3.95 but the tiles aren't you know they aren't a square foot they're almost one and three quarter square feet you know so each tile is actually almost you know almost 3.95 times two it's 3.95 times 1.7227 so you know it's six dollars and eighty cents. I think that works out to six eighty one. I round it down to six eighty, uh, and then you get uh, I ship it to you. I mean, just should I just ship the two thousand square foot floor and shipping costs seven hundred bucks just the other day. So just to give you an idea of you know if you're doing a normal garage of you know four five six hundred square feet, you're talking two three four hundred dollars to ship it, depending on where you're at in the country. So. You know, they're, you're you're getting a twenty percent discount, but you're also saving another fifteen percent on the shipping cost. So, or ten at least, yeah, at least ten percent on the shipping cost. So, you know, so so just keep that in mind that um, you know it's debatable whether flooring should cost five bucks a square foot, but that's that's just that's what it costs. You would come in here and say, okay, I want uh, let's see, so slate gray, and we're gonna add that to the cart. Uh, but we need, oh, I had this in there, must have been messing around. We need, uh, what was that, 1,100, 1,104 slate gray tiles. 1,104. And so there's our 1,104 slate gray. And then we needed some jet black. Boom. We'll add that to the cart. And our jet black tile, how many do we need? I should probably memorize this. We need 152. So we need 152 of these, 152, boom. So now we need rubber tracks. Now rubber tracks is 495 a square foot or 853 per tile. 
And so we need that. Now remember, rubber tracks only comes in black. So rubber tracks needs to be, we need 44 of those. And then the last product we need are the edge pieces. We won't need any corner pieces here. So we need a slate gray corner, uh, edge pieces. Man, and again, I just shot a rough estimate there. We would get a proper dimension, but we need 28 of those. And this will also help you get an idea of what it costs to do, you know, 2,000 square feet. So you can go in here and play with this. I, again, I probably have the only calculator online. And so you're talking 9,000 bucks in flooring. You know, it's just, well, you know, now there's no shipping cost there. So this $9,000 floor is probably going to cost, it'll have to come freight, you know, eight $900 to get it to you, to ship it, you know, so... Uh, so just, just to put, put that into perspective. So that, that, that's an option for the flooring. So figure if we do a porcelain tile installed is probably going to be more like two and a half times the cost that the cost of that in order to do proper ceramic, you know, or, or proper, not ceramic, but porcelain tile. Uh, and so maybe, maybe not two and a half times you know, figure, cause you could go to home Depot and get some cheap stuff. But if we're going to do it, the level of this garage I think it's going to be at least 15,000 to, to do it. And if not more, because we're going to have to do some leveling to the floor and some substantial patchwork to it where the Swiss tracks will be able to just lay it right on top. No, no issues. So anyway, that, that's, that's a, that's a discussion that the, the Bob and I'll have. And, um, I, again, I, I mean, just look at the picture in the background. It's freaking awesome. Uh, you know, I don't want to like it. It's plastic. It's plastic floor. It's $9,000 plastic tiles. I, I get dirt goes underneath it. I love the fact that dirt goes underneath it. You know, again, I rebelled against this floor forever, but I've had it for four years now. And I, I think you guys know that I'm a bit insane. You know, I, I'm pretty particular about what, what goes on. And, and I don't think that I'm stupid. So it's a viable option and dirt goes under it. I don't see it. I vacuum it once a year. I don't see, I, I mean, that's like the perfect option. You know, <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand why anybody gets you know, bent on shape about dirt being underneath it. So that's where you want it to be. I don't want it sitting on the surface of the floor and you suck it right out with a vacuum. You don't even have to take the tile up. You don't have to do anything. It's perfect. The one time you drop oil, I, I can count, you know, there's been two times in my existence and I changed oil on five different cars in my, in my garage. And I've had two times where I had to actually pull a tile up because I dumped a bunch of oil underneath. It took 35 seconds. So those two arguments are, I think, a, a moot point. But anyway, uh, I won't belabor that. So let's go back to sort of discussion. So that that's that's you know one potential, uh, and then I don't have any information for you on porcelain tile, uh, but you're going to need something that's extremely dense. You're going to need something that's anti-skid. Uh, you're going to need something that uh, you know the, the other issue we have to deal with in the future would be grout, and so we'd probably want as close to zero grout lines as possible because this is a garage. You'd have to seal the grout, clean the grout, you know, periodically. Uh, so, you know, there's a myriad of other maintenance things that would need to go on. You're probably going to have some some cracking, uh, some settling, and especially if it's a new house. So those are just, just things to think about that you don't have those issues with, with Swiss tracks. And like I said, you know, we're, if I have anything to do with it, we're not doing epoxy. Uh, the floor is going to have to be uh, – this floor isn't a candidate for it. It would be all – it's just it's too old and beat up it's just not i don't think it's an option so what happens when the when the force pulls you back your foot naturally comes off the gas you have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor. Foot to the floor.